Hi, David here from Taurus Fabric Build. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the container mounted fabric structures. The containers can come in really handy. You can convert them into workshops, you can work them into abundant uh, oil areas, use them for offices, use them for ablution blocks or first aid routes. You can virtually use them for whatever you need. If you've got double stacked containers, quite often in the top story they'll put the light up storage items or put offices upstairs. So they really give you some secure, some secure rooms which are relatively cost effective to install. With your containers make sure that they're in reasonable condition because you've got to have integrity. There's a reasonable force from the wind going over the top of the structure, especially if there's going to be high winds. So don't go too cheap and nasty on the containers, get a reasonable quality. You can have them as single stacked or double stacked, uh, or possibly triple stacked, but you need stays when you go up uh, three high because it's a long way up. With the actual structure, you can go internally to the inside or externally to the outside or internally externally. It's whichever works for you. Uh, you can weld the, the brackets directly onto the top of the container or else you can look at having rails. Either weld on rails or rails with a twist lock which just locks straight into the container ports on either end of the container. On a 40 foot container you will have one weld in the middle just to support it in the middle. With your end walls you can have a partial end wall which will just fill in the, the arch. Or you can have a full end wall which comes down to the ground. Or you can have a the containers up against the back and have the partial end wall coming down to the back or coming down one or the, the two containers. It's totally flexible how the end walls are arranged. And the same with the doors on the other end if you want doors. With the end walls they are expensive, there's a lot of steel in them, they've got to be wind rated. Sometimes it's worth making your structure an extra container longer, an extra six metres of container, so you've got a longer roof section to stop the, the rain coming so far in. If you work on about a 45 degree angle of attack of weather coming in, so make sure that you've got plenty of dry space if it's going to be raining. You do need decent footings under the containers so you're looking at either putting down piers or preferably if you've got a slab somewhere that you can utilise so they can be chem centred down to the slab. But you'll find that they're low maintenance the container shelters and being able to use the shelters for a multitude of purposes really makes a very useful structure which can be moved in the future. Okay, I'll catch you next time.